Florida Power & Light has completed its takeover of Gulf Power. What does this mean for electric rates for homeowners in the Florida Panhandle? We're going to be answering that question and much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we talk about all things having to do with home renewable energy, solar power systems, battery backup systems, uh, sometimes even generator backup systems as well. Uh, we also cover new product releases uh, as well as industry news like today's video here. Now today we're talking about Florida Power & Light, which is the largest for-profit utility in the state of Florida, their recent takeover of Gulf Power, and what that's going to mean for homeowners that live along the west coast and the panhandle of Florida. Now the long and short of it is that if you have a small home and you consume less than 1,000 kilowatt hours or less than one megawatt hour of electricity per month, you're actually likely to see your rates go down slightly. However, if you have a larger home and you consume more than 1,000 kilowatt hours per month, then your rates are going to increase and you're likely going to be paying uh, a higher electric bill to the tune of 20, 30, or 40 percent. Now, FPL believes that they can achieve greater profitability by taking over Gulf Power's operations. They believe they can achieve greater efficiency in terms of power generation, distribution, operations and maintenance. But I suppose time will tell. What we do know is that the state's largest for-profit utility company has now become even larger and therefore is now expected to have even more pull and political influence. So if you're a homeowner living on the West Gulf or the Gulf Coast of Florida, what are some things that you can do to take more control of your energy cost and your energy situation? Uh, if you've ever looked into solar power for your home or something that you've ever considered, the time is right right now to make the switch to solar. Because although FPL brings along with it higher electric rates on a per kilowatt hour basis, they, they also offer a generous one for one net metering program. And so what that means is if you choose to install solar panels on your home, not only can you directly power your home using the solar panels during daylight hours, but you can also earn credits on your account by selling the excess solar power to FPL during daylight hours, building up a bank of credits on your account, which you can then pull from during the evening hours, so that when you look at the entire billing cycle, everything balances out to zero. Uh, and of course, financing rates are still very favorable for purchasing your solar power system. So instead of having to purchase for all of your solar equipment outright, what most homeowners choose to do is set up a low interest fixed rate financing to where the monthly payment for your solar loan cost is actually less than what your monthly electric bill is. So it essentially allows you to swap, divert a certain amount from one power bill, in this case an FPL power bill, to a solar bill instead, keep the monthly payment the same or lower, and actually keep that monthly payment fixed. So as everybody else's rates are going up a few points each year with inflation, if you have a fixed rate solar loan, your payment does not change for the life of the system. And then of course eventually you pay it off and you have free power. So if you're watching this, if you live on the west coast or the gulf coast of Florida, uh, if you're considering solar power, uh, especially if you're looking to protect yourself as FPL gains more influence and of course has been constantly trying to raise its own uh, income and profitability, if you're looking at ways that you can protect yourself from that, um, as well as if you're looking at ways that you can protect yourself from power outages, then installing solar power, perhaps with battery storage, so you have some energy security and some backup power as well, is something that you want to take a look at. You know, folks, as always, if you're in the process of looking at solar power options, or, or maybe you've never actually, you know, looked at specific pricing and you'd like to get a price quote just to get some idea of what the cost and what the savings would be, um, as always, you know, feel free to reach out to us at the link below there. It'll just take you to our website where you can schedule a short 15-minute Zoom call with one of our system designers here. Just talk through what the options are, and then we'd be happy to provide some pricing and some information for you. 
Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the information we publish here, you know, be sure to click on the thumbs up button. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel so you can keep up with us. That way when we publish the new videos, it'll come up on your homepage, come up on your feed, so you can stay up to date with what's going on in the industry. Well, folks, I thank you for taking some time sharing with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.